everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to my evening routine it's about five o'clock the work day is finished Andrew is still working in the other room I am finished so I thought I would show you our evening routine especially during this time so we'll have some dinner I'm gonna show you my favorite instapot chicken recipe it's a whole chicken it's like a good hearty meal delicious i can't wait to share that with you and yeah we'll just wind down and have our evening together so let's get right into it beginning our evening routine is starting with making dinner and we used to eat dinner a lot later but now being at home we don't have a train to come home on and rushing to get home so I start dinner usually at 5 and I'm gonna be showing you my favorite instant pot dinner it is so easy so delicious and I actually think this would be a great meal in the winter so it has bone broth salt pepper parsley flakes garlic powder and onion powder and you can do this with any type of chicken I like to do it with a whole chicken um, because you can use the bones and things like that the next day for broths and things like that but you're just gonna take all the powders so you do about two tablespoons each of garlic and onion powder and then eyeball some parsley flakes in there half a teaspoon of salt and then you're going to also add pepper and then pour in about an equal to a little bit less of amount of olive oil so it makes like a paste and you're gonna mix this all together and you're gonna rub this all over your chicken and I get my hands in there nice and dirty um, to make sure it gets everywhere now this chicken is a little bit frozen that's why it's in the bowl <laughs> looks very strange um, but the beauty of the instant pot is that it does not matter if it is frozen or fresh it comes out equally as delicious and then you can put a little bit of olive oil or butter depends <laughs> what you like and you're going to turn on the saute mode on your instant pot and then you're just going to sear the chicken now because mine was a little bit frozen it did not all the way sear but I find it turns out a bit better if you do and then once you take the chicken out you get all that nice stuff on the bottom and then you pour the bone broth just a little bit in uh, to coat the bottom and then the key is to add the uh, I don't know what this is called the little rack and put your chicken on there Again, mine's very stiff so I'm like shoving it in there and then you're gonna close it up and cook for one hour on the pressure cook mode if it is fresh it's less I think it's about 30 minutes but because it's frozen it's an hour and then I'm just going to clean up and get everything ready for actually eating and doing a side dish which we are going to be doing sweet potatoes and a salad it's one of my favorite uh, sides roasted sweet potatoes I just cube them cook them in the oven I am showing you my favorite peeler my Nana bought that for me I'll try to link it down below it's amazing um, yeah do you want dinner do you want dinner While Andrew takes Walter out for a walk after he eats, I try to just pick up from the day. Usually I'm the one out here and it's so nice to just do a quick cleanup. That way we're eating dinner in a nice clean home and I like to set the table. I do this every night. Um, it's important to me that we sit down and eat dinner together. So here's the salad that I'm making. It's just some baby spinach that I had left over. We love those little cucumbers and these small heirloom tomatoes they are delicious I am not a huge fan of like cherry tomatoes or things like that I'll eat them but these are so good if you've never tried them give them a taste I was 
so hungry, I did not want it to manually decompress. So the chicken is so tender, it can barely stay together. That's the nice thing about having this rack because there's no way I could like lift the chicken out without it falling apart. So I put the chicken in this bowl and the beautiful thing about the bottom of the pot is there is this incredibly delicious gravy. Now we add just a little bit of grass fed butter, just a little bit and whisk it, I, <laughs> I whisk it together and then we pour it over the chicken, the sweet potato and man is it ever so delicious. You have to try this recipe. Right after dinner, I like to go lie down on the couch. I'm usually like full and kind of tired from cooking. So I lie down, relax before I start cleaning up. And then Walter usually tries to play with me. Andrew will join me and we kind of just sit around for a while. Good way to relax after the day and after dinner. And then as well as, as time passes, I will typically start to work. We both will finish work. I'll usually edit, you know, do some things on my computer. And I do that until I feel energized to clean up. <laughs> Day, we decided to go play some tennis. Once tennis courts opened during quarantine, we started playing and it's been such a fun activity that we are going to continue. I love that we can play it as a couple, we can play with other people, and we've really enjoyed it. And it's just a way to stay active. Later on, when we get home, Andrew goes into his crazy looking man cave. This is also our little bit of our catch all room. And uh, he plays video games as his way to decompress, which I totally get. We all have our ways of relaxing. Mine is not playing video games, uh, but I just finish up cleaning the kitchen. I like to get it all done, and that way in the morning, it's a fresh, you know, start to the day, fresh, fresh kitchen, and uh, yeah, it's nice and tidy. And then. Usually Walter wants to go to bed, so I have a blanket that we put on the bed, take all the pillows off, that way he can kind of start his wind down routine, which sounds funny. But uh, if, if I didn't come in here and put the blanket on the bed, he would be on there messing everything up. So that's what I do.
now I'm starting my skincare routine. I always double cleanse and I'm first going in with the Arbonne Super Calm Cleansing Milk. Um, this really helps get everything off my face in order to go in with my next treatment, which is the Rodin and Fields Unblemish Acne Cleanser. I find these two products together work wonders for me and it really helps, you know, clear out my pores, clear off my makeup so that this acne cleanser can really get in there. And then obviously I follow it up by taking off my eye makeup with a micellar water, a really gentle one because it is, I think it's waterproof so I have a really hard time getting it off but the micellar water does the trick and it does not sting my eyes. And then I go in with the Rodin and Fields Unblemish Step 2 Toner. This is really nice and then I follow that up with the Super Calm Skin Relief Serum. This is great for really sensitive skin and it just adds a lot of hydration back into you know my face after you know double cleansing and all that stuff then while my skin is drying I brush my teeth and if you see I had that pink um, kind of uh, protector those are called SteriPods I love those it keeps your toothbrush sterilized and then obviously some eye cream which we got to do some oil I love the Rodin Fields Active Hydration, but I'm almost out, so I'm using this um, face oil that I got in a FabFitFun box, which is nice. Um, I try to, you know, keep the Rodin and Fields good to the last drop, so not going anywhere this week, so I'm using the other stuff. And then I just like to brush my hair. I don't know if it really does anything because I wake up with wild hair, but in my mind it helps keep everything tame. pretty busy day for me so I decided to relax by playing some uh, Stardew Valley on my Nintendo Switch. I don't always play every night but I decided to tonight and that is it. I am heading to sleep. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed our evening routine. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I will talk to you again for another video.